a former NASA engineer has made bold claims around Saturn. He goes on to say that giant crafts can be seen around this planet, and that the National Aeronautics and Space Administration are well aware of this. The former employee goes on to detail that unidentified flying objects are interested in Saturn's rings, and on numerous occasions we've captured them lurking close to the planet. Dr. Norman Bergeron, who's said to have been an employee at NASA's research center, details that these crafts that have been captured are not hard to spot, mainly because they're massive, easily being several miles in length. He said the following about the mysterious objects that were detected close to Saturn. Alien spacecrafts are proliferating in our solar system and around these ring planets. End quote. One of the ways he was able to find out about these crafts was because he had exclusive access to raw images. These are images that are sent back to NASA that haven't yet been edited or tampered with, something that is commonly done by the space agency and that they're open about. They claim that various images we see have been edited or are part of various images that have been put together, commonly known as composite images. These raw images, however, gave him an insight into what the public weren't able to see, and in various photographs he could see giant crafts sitting close to Saturn and its rings. Knowing that these objects were being kept a secret, he decided that the general public should know about them, and so went about releasing a book. However, he soon revealed that he wasn't able to get it published in the United States. This caused him to travel to Scotland in the hopes of getting it published. He did, and the book was titled Ringmakers of Saturn. Many interesting photographs have been presented to back up his claims, but one of the most interesting ones shows what appears to be a giant cylindrical craft. He calls them electromagnetic vehicles. It was estimated that this giant object was over 2,000 miles long. Dr. Bergeron said the following about the mysterious objects. I don't know who built it, but what I found out is that these things inhabit Saturn. That's where I first discovered them, and they're proliferating. They are now in Uranus and Jupiter, wherever you see some rings. I call it the Ringmaker. I could be looking down on the rings and I could see parallel lines crossing all of the rings at once. That's about as long as you could go. I could tell that those lines marked the outside of the object. I say that it's an electromagnetic vehicle because I can identify streamline patterns and I know that they were potential lines and that says it was electrical. End quote. He claims that these giant crafts are building the rings on these planets, with theorists saying that these crafts can be found close to many celestial bodies in our solar system, including the Moon, Mars and the Sun. It appears though that amateur researchers can't agree on why these crafts are here. Some believe that they're monitoring the solar system, while others believe that they're actually other life forms that we share our solar system with. One of the issues though is the size of these crafts. The majority of them are hundreds if not thousands of miles in length. So what are these things? And if they are genuine, who's building them? One amateur researcher said the following. These giant crafts need to be investigated as they've been witnessed for years. I think that at this point we have enough proof to make a case that these are real. One of the problems is that we look at them and apply human ideas thinking that humans can't build a craft of this size so it can't be done. But this is the wrong way of looking at it, and will actually set us back if we keep doing this. Just because humans can do it, it doesn't mean it can't be done. After all, we are talking about the universe here. Human laws don't apply. I think more research needs to be done surrounding this topic, and the quicker we take it seriously, the quicker we'll get answers. End quote. Scientists and researchers, though, are not impressed with these kinds of images, with them saying that the most likely explanation is that these objects are just space debris, or anomalies picked up on their camera equipment. When talking about unidentified flying objects in space, one researcher went on to say the following. 
Most commonly, UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches and debris. End quote. Another NASA official said the following about these claims. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of their cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. Even with this explanation, UFO researchers have said this isn't what we're seeing, and in some cases, these objects stick around for several hours. With one UFO researcher saying the following, What I find strange is how these cylinder-shaped UFOs are seen on this planet. I think if it wasn't for that then I'd be more inclined to believe these are natural, but it's just strange how we see similar looking UFOs on our planet. Every year people report different shaped crafts, so I think that there could be more to this than what scientists are letting on. End quote. As mentioned, NASA officials have said that when space debris gets close up to the cameras it can take the shape of a UFO, and many times this is what we're seeing. Officials say if it's not space debris, then the other explanation is that this is a camera anomaly, and these happen during the processing stage. But as some researchers have pointed out, some of these objects are seen on the raw file images before anything has happened. With space being so vast, is it really far-fetched to believe that we share it with other life forms? As of right now, NASA has said they've never recorded a UFO and that every alleged UFO can be easily explained as space debris. So what do you guys make of these mysterious objects seen close to Saturn? Do you think they're linked to the UFO phenomena, or do you think they're just space debris? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.